Perhaps I've just come into the Casbah, but I seem to have come in at a quite a busy time. There's this event, so Top Chef Morocco, which seems to be going on at the moment. So hopefully there's something interesting going on with that. So they're setting up for the cooking competition now. The ingredients are going out on the cook's tables. But this is also, it's not just Morocco, it's Atlantic coast, uh, predominantly Arabic. Yeah, there's other countries joining in, even Spain joining in. So, yeah, really, really curious. Okay, definitely a lot more people now. It looks like now the chefs are getting taken to their individual posts where they're going to do the cooking here. It's uh, suddenly a lot more people. Okay, so we just had the introduction. I think we're getting started. So this is certainly the judges around here. These people are kind of famous. Of course, I'm not a local. I don't know who they are, but uh, we've got some famous judges here to taste the food. With whatever's going on in the middle, around the sides, I can see the chefs are starting the preparation. So I think here we've got the judges basically going around the chefs and seeing what they're doing, talking to the chefs. Good luck. So it looks to me like they're all cooking with swordfish. The chefs now are very settled into doing the chopping, doing the food preparation. See some cooking of onions getting started now, some nice smell in the air. Hello, good luck. So the way this works here is basically all of the chefs get exactly the same ingredients and they have to come up with their own meal based on it. The judges are then obviously going to do their thing, decide which is the best. So we've obviously got some celebrities here. As I say, I don't know any of the faces. Possibly celebrity chefs here, I don't know. Some guys wearing suits then, maybe politicians, I don't know. Do you know who they are? Leave comments below, let me know, please. So I've actually just found out who uh, these guys were. So the guy with the suit and tie there, he's actually the mayor of this town. Got the tagine being loaded up behind me. This is looking super tasty, super good. Some lovely smells coming about already. I'm sure it's going to be tenfold soon. So the longer I stay here, the more I learn. This is the festival of Mediterranean food. So it's uh, Arabic food, but from countries along the Mediterranean. It explains obviously the location in Morocco and also some of the countries we're seeing around, like uh, just spoke earlier to some chefs from Palestine. There's also chefs in Spain here and the smell, the smell going on around here now is beautiful, making me so, so hungry. That is absolutely a work of art, isn't it? It's incredible what they can do with a watermelon. Beautiful. So the cooking's making great progress and the judges are doing the rounds.
Hey guys, so with the food festival here, I've been walking around and met uh, Monica here from uh, Duo Money. I'll put a link in the description below. So check out our channel, I'm sure you'll love it. So uh, Monica, what do you think of the event so far? I mean, I, I like it a lot because for a moment, like I came to the museum and I think, oh, it's just fancy. But then I start seeing everything and like, it was worth it. Like seeing all the different chefs from different parts of Africa and what's this being how they do different food but with the same you know ingredients and so lucky isn't it so lucky that we yeah. just uh, we just turn up to see the casbah and we end up now uh, probably at least two hours later or something yeah. like that in this wonderful food festival and especially they were really welcoming you know mm. like they, they didn't care we were here they give us sodas like Really good. Yeah. yeah, they've been so friendly, haven't they? They've been uh, when they can speak English, they've been so keen to yeah. talk to us. Yeah, so really, really lovely, uh, lovely time here, and uh, good to shoot some video together. So let's uh, let's go and have a look. The judges should be uh, hopefully trying some of the food now. It's a beautiful presentation going on right here from these guys. Look at the plating up here; it looks fantastic. So it's my new friend, uh, Chef Ali from uh, La View in Tangier, right? Uh, Tangier. Tanja, yeah, yeah, Tanja, yes. and you're uh, you're judging today. Yes, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Of course, it's good, eh? Shukran, isn't it? Very good. Shukran. Shukran. So good. Wow, look at that. Beautiful, beautiful. Yeah, I'll do it again. I'll do it again. It was safe. It was safe. I'm pretty sure we're getting to the end of the judging now but the thing that makes it so hard filming something like this is you just feel so so hungry so what's going on here behind the scenes then I wonder we're eating of course <laughs> oh shukran Oh, it's so good to try a little bit more of the food here. <laughs> so the food seems to have been ambushed on the way. <laughs> oh, look at this. Bit of the uh, swordfish. Oh! Wow! Mmm! Mmm! Oh, that is good. So this enjoying leftovers with the locals by the bin is definitely one of the highlights of this whole festival. Get to try the food. Judge it for ourselves. We have no idea what's going on. We're just joining them for a walk. Who's won? I don't know. I think we're heading towards end game here. The results are coming. Here we have the winner, the grand champion of Top Chef. Congratulations, congratulations. That was awesome. That was so nicely unexpected fun right there. Quite an epic day at this uh, at this competition. Met the winner in the end. Glad to get some closure on that fun because to be honest, we weren't too sure what was going on. Everything's in Arabic and uh, don't speak the language, so it's kind of hard to tell. But people are so friendly around here, and it's just been lovely. <laughs>